Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. This is a look at the new Windows 10 build 16193 for PC. It's a Redstone 3 build, which will be known as the Fall Creators Update. So yesterday at Microsoft's build conference, they showed off a load of changes coming to Windows 10, including this new fluid design, uh, which I've shown you on uh, previous videos looking at um, what's, what was called Project Neon. This is this sort of neon highlighted effect. This is this, and it's this highlighted effect that you see on there. It's now called fluid design, and there's a lot more than just highlights. It's the way that applications flow as they get resized and moved around and that kind of thing. So, um, in the keynote, one of the examples Microsoft gave was a new app, app called Story Remix, and uh, that's the main change with this build. Now, actually, it's not really a new app. It's an evolution of the Photos app. So you can fire up the Photos app in this build and, ha and have a look. You'll see it's got this transparent border. You can see it slightly peeking through there. They call it, I think, the acrylic design, I think they call it. And the other thing you'll notice, well, the way that things reflow as you resize them. You see how they dynamically uh, reflow in. And uh, see if I can show that. There you go. See things move around. Also, the scroll bar interacts, and the way that things move around and animate, and those kind of things like that. You see, that is all part of this fluid fluid design. But what's actually changed with the app? Well, it, so there's quite a lot actually, and uh, Microsoft do did do a really good walkthrough on their uh, video, which I think is available up on Channel Nine. I'll just show you some of the highlights. The idea with this really is you can pick an event, um, and then I think I've got some that I played with earlier. Okay, here we go. So here's a day where I took a load of photos. And you can then create a story on this. So here's all photos and videos from from that day. And I'm going to edit this story. There you go. So um, here it's automatically brought all these in and it's created the transitions and everything else. It's done the duration, it's added filters, and we can. created um, the whole story it's put I didn't do any of this it's put them in the sequence it's added the music the cut the music cuts to the to this pictures and um, it's added the motion and everything else so um, it's quite an interesting feature and it's it's really easy to do I mean, you just create a story from your day really um, let's have a look so let's see if I can get another example okay so here's pictures where I was doing something for a story on, the, on digitallifestyle.com and you see I've just opened that up and it's downloading those images from OneDrive which is done and let's just watch it that's it And that's it. And then I can export this, share this. Um, let's have the quickest. And it creates a video preview. And then I guess I can share that out. I can share it. And it'll use the standard Windows sharing system, I guess. Yeah. So. There's a lot to this app, but you get the idea. It's it's a way of sort of creating your these videos, and it's still the photos app really, but it's it's uh, a lot more now, and it's got a lot built-in search. You can search by dates and people, and you know you can, it's really very flexible flexible uh, tool now, and there's a lot that it can do with it. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to play with this a bit more. I so say Microsoft have a really good video demonstration of it as well. Right, quick go through some of the other changes. Uh, there's a change to the throttling. Um, I don't think I can show you this one because 
this Surface Pro 3 CPU doesn't support the, the throttling, but they've changed it from background uh, moderated to uh, to say throttling in here. You need the later processor. I think the Surface Pro 4 would do it. Um, one thing really good, actually, very pleased to see is individual control of UWP app volumes. So you can see here, this is the normal volume mix in Windows, and previously you've had all the Win32 apps and not been able to control UWP apps. These are UWP apps, and you can now control those. So anything you open there, so including Groove and everything else, will appear in there. Well, finally, <laughs> that, that makes an appearance. So there you go, you see it's added it to there because Groove has started playing. Finally, that's there. That's really good to see it, and there it disappeared. Okay, other changes. Um, doing a reset update and security where you can reset the system works again and on English preview builds. The lock screen settings should no longer crash. They fixed an issue with the setting in some languages would crash. They fixed some XAML, underlying XAML issues for developers. They fixed the clear all button on notifications. Um, they fixed the Windows troubleshooter when you use troubleshooting apps. And uh, they fixed the USB ish device issue. A couple of known issues Windows Defender Application Guard won't work on touch PCs and. Um, Surface 3 still doesn't upgrade if you've got it, you've got the SD card in and Outlook 2016 still may have an issue and they're investigating issues with um, opening PDFs in Edge and they're coming up with an error. Now there's a few others but uh, have a look at the uh, notes on the digitallifestyle.com for all the details. Good to see some um, nice changes coming to Windows. This fluid design, we're going to see a lot more of that. Oh, the mail app's going to pick it up. The start menu is going to pick it up. I can imagine we're going to see this fluid transitions like you see on these. Those highlights which are showed in Groove, those are going to come to the start menu. A long way to go yet, but uh, we now know the official name of this. This is the Fall Creators Update. Thanks for watching this video, and you can see more videos on our YouTube channel and on the digitallifestyle.com.